So God of War is coming out today, and I always like to do digital downloads. I don't like physical copies, that's just something that I do. I like to make sure that it's just on the system, I don't want to worry about discs and crap like that. It's not something, especially with kids taking things out of the boxes, not my style. However, I have a 100 megabit fiber line here at the house, but I don't get that on my PlayStation. It doesn't download at the 100 megabit line, which is something that I can rectify in a couple easy steps, and that's the whole point of today's video, is I'm gonna walk you through how to actually change your internet settings on your PlayStation to get a proper setup so that you can download games as quick as they're supposed to be downloading on your internet speed. Because I think it's something like, the God of War is like 40 gigabytes, but with, with the way it's set up on the internet, it'll download in nine plus hours, which is not, not what a 100 meg line is for. But with the changes that I'm gonna be doing today, it comes down to about 90 minutes or about an hour and a half, which is perfectly reasonable with the type of uh, speed that I have on my system. So let's go ahead and jump into, into this. So we have God of War right here. We're gonna be downloading that. You can see that it, I've downloaded about four gigs so far out of the 45 gigabytes that it's supposed to be having. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the settings options, and then if we test the internet connection, we find that yes, it has internet, everything's fine. But then you see my download speed is 38 megs down, and I have half of, not even like three quarters of a meg up, which is terrible because I'm paying for 100 down and 50 up which it, like I'm clearly not getting that whatsoever. And it's not because my line is bad and it's not because this isn't, this is hardwired, this is on an ethernet cable. So that's, everything is completely broken on this. So if we start the download, if we go back and we start the download, we re, re, unpause it, resume it. So right now you can see that it's downloaded about four and a half gigs out of the 11 need to be playable and four and a half gigs out of the 45 that needs to be playable. So we have 36, 26 minutes left until we can play the game, three hours left until we can actually uh, get all of the, the download finished. So let's go and actually do the little trick that you need to do to get a better network set up here on the PlayStation. So it's very simple. You can either use Wi-Fi or use a LAN cable, but instead of doing the easy option, which just sets up the internet for you, you go over to custom. You can keep the IP address the same, DHCP host. The DNS settings is what you're gonna wanna change because of the way Sony routes the PlayStation traffic, it all gets broken and doesn't work as fast as it should. And so what you want to do is you want to set it up on the Google DNS setup, which is 8.8.8 .8 and then also 8.8.8, wait, 8.8.8.4.4. I, I probably said that incorrectly, but that's those are the DNS settings that you're supposed to have with with the PlayStation and that's gonna allow for you to have faster traffic and better speeds on downloads. There we go, we have 39 down and 4.4 up, so we're already seeing better upload speeds, if not uh, the best download speeds. But let's go ahead and resume this download and see the time that it's going to take for us to download this. There we go, the time is absolutely dropping on it. It's downloading quicker than ever before. We're down to 18 minutes, 17 minutes, about 90 minutes to finish the 45 gig file instead of three hours. So we're saving a butt ton of time here with the way this is set up. It's still dropping. These numbers are still crashing down here. So we've, we were at 26 minutes. We've saved a total of 10 minutes on this download. We've saved an hour and a half plus on this, on the full download because we changed the DNS settings on the PlayStation itself. The way that Sony routes traffic on the PlayStation clearly isn't good enough to actually uh, get things as fast as they need to go. But there's another DNS uh, that we could potentially use that I would like to check out. So this is, the first part of this was what I can guarantee is going to work. We have a much faster download. We're saving a lot of time on, on, on the system. But there's another DNS that just got released from Cloudflare and I actually wanna check that out versus the Google DNS setup. So we're gonna change, we're gonna go back through all the settings. We're gonna keep the IP address the same, DHCP host. We're gonna change the DNS settings to the way the new Cloudflare DNS, which is 1.1.1.1.41s. All right, so we just, need the, we just need the primary DNS and then we set it up. 1.1.1.1, there we go. And this was just released on April 1st, the DNS, so hopefully we can see about the similar speeds that we do with the Google DNS. 
They released it on April Fool's Day and everybody thought they were joking. But four ones, April 1st, the fourth month, first day, one, 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 the way they, they thought about it. Okay, so speeds are much slower with this, but this is just an experiment. This doesn't really, um, this doesn't really affect the, the idea of this video. Actually, no, we're still, we're still getting better download speeds than we were earlier. Um, we've already spent some time downloading this, so this is down to 17 minutes. This isn't as fast as the Google DNS, and you can see that the long-term download of the 45 gigs is gonna be about an hour and a half left of downloading. So you can, you can use either method. You can change it to the Google DNS, which clearly is preferred because this one's a bit slower, or you can use Cloudflare DNS if you prefer to use that one, if that's something that you wanna do. But the, the point of this video is, Digital downloads can take a long time on PlayStation, but I can guarantee that this also works on the PlayStation Vita, probably also the PlayStation 3. It's just the way that Sony has chosen to route traffic through the PlayStation doesn't exactly line up with actually getting the best uh, internet speed, even if you have a really fast performing line. So change the DNS and then you're gonna get fast speeds. So let me know if you have any other tips and tricks to increase the internet speed on your PlayStation or increase the speed at your home. And no, this was not one of those videos where it was just like, you get three times the speed for no cost. This one actually works and you're welcome that I provided it for you. Um, also, if you're gonna be picking up games for the PlayStation or buying a PlayStation itself, you can use our Amazon affiliate code that's in the video description. It doesn't cost you an extra cent, but it gives us a small kickback on the game, on the console that helps support the channel and keep everything going around here. Be sure to smash the like button. If you enjoyed this video, get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. And yes, consoles are included in that. I know that we primarily focus on computer hardware, but that was something that even the team and I were discussing today. We want to start expanding our reach into all tech and that we're not just a mining uh, computer hardware channel, but really we want to encompass all tech. We want to do camera stuff. We want to do phone stuff. We want to do console stuff. Like we, we really, as, as I'm getting be settled back in South Africa, as I'm staying in my house, like we can actually start to work on bigger and better projects and kind of go forward in a direction that uh, is really, really good for the channel. So let me know what you guys think of us doing that type of content. What do you want to see besides this kind of stuff? Like, let, let me know what you're thinking and what you think the future of UFD Tech could be because I want to involve you guys in that conversation, which if you want to have that conversation, be sure to do it in the community Discord, which will be a link in the video description. Also comment as well, that's totally fine. Anyways, anyways, with that being said, I'm Brett with the UFD Tech channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support throughout my travels throughout the US. And I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. So it's been about an hour since we originally did everything. And look at this, look at this. We got 34 gigs out of 45 gigs, 25 minutes left. Not the initial three to five hours that it was quoting us on everything. The data to start the application is good to go, which means we can rock it. It was only been an hour. I, obviously I could have played this a while ago. HDR, ooh, you guys won't be able to see this, but yes, we got HDR. 4K, this is gonna be a gorgeous experience for me. I'm gonna enjoy this now. Thank you guys so much. Like that, this is everything that I wanted it to be. Some of my buddies were talking like in the gaming group, the RPG elements are very, very obvious and it's like, they're enjoying the heck out of it. Okay. Not, not, what, what am I doing? Not obvious in the way that it, like it feels forced, but that like- it's Yeah, no, it, it, it feels properly implemented. I'm just, like I could do this perfectly fine for the video, but now that I'm talking to you, I can't. I also had a hard time saying this, 8.8.4.4. I, I, I don't even know what the crap I was saying. 8.8.8.4.4.4.4.
I came out really weird. Yeah, no, it's okay. No, I don't, don't do this. Okay. And notification. Yep. 14, 12 minutes. There we go. Mm. All right. I should be able to play this tonight. Sweet. Cool. I play games on PlayStation 2 because they have the best exclusives. They do. They do. Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War. All of those. Those are all really dope games. Persona 5. Oh, sure.